So, as promised, Jerry has made us a rack for our plastic bottles. We've got these 500 milliliter plastic bottles, which is an ideal size, in a rack, not in a rack, next to a ran, but in a rack. Right. So I'm going to put that on my woodshed uh, wall outside and I think I'll put a piece of plastic over the top to stop the snow building up and uh, we'll get on with it. Now, I've worked out that 5% of uh, 500 milliliters is 25 milliliters and it just so happens I found a shot glass which is 25 milliliters. So I'll just keep putting bits in, you know, proportionate from uh, 5% up to 50% and then we can uh, work out which is which. I've put some labels on, I've got some labels printed, I've got to stick them on yet. So that's what I've got to do. Now the the antifreeze that I'm using, this is concentrate. It's a diesel concentrate but it's red. I couldn't get the green stuff but I was assured that this is nice and red. <laughs> so we can see it a bit better if you see what I mean. But it's still the same sort of stuff. I don't, I don't know why they call it, uh, why it does anything here, but it says here if you mix it 50-50 it's good down to minus 37 here, and if you mix it 60-40 it's good to minus 52 and if it's 70% to antifreeze to 30% water it's good to minus 64 Rest assured, I will not be here when it's minus 64. But, we usually, the maximum we do is 50-50, alright? But let's see what we can get away with, with this experiment. So, <clears throat> let me get these filled up, alright? And then we'll take it outside, shove it on the wall, and we'll have a look. I bought myself a little outside thermometer. It's not the best, but it's the best I could find. And uh, we'll, see what, we'll see what happens. Now, <laughs> just as a funniest note, I don't know. It's minus four today, so we won't get very good results straight away. However, um, in the next couple of days, it's going to be 12 degrees. It's warming up. So I think Christmas Day is going to be about 12 degrees. Bizarre, eh? Anyway, let's get on with filling these up. So there we are. We've, we've got uh, ten bottles, all standing in the row. Um, ranging from 5%. See if I can tip it up a bit so you can see. That's better. So I'll put numbers on the bottles, 5%, 50%. Now, the 50% one doesn't look like it's a full bottle, but remember, it's only going to be 500 mil, so, and this, but these bottles are tapered, so it's not parallel, so it looks a bit deceiving. But I know from measuring them out, that 500 milliliters, for example, just goes up to the uh, maple leaf thing on here, the, the, the little badge thing. So the next thing is to fill them with water to that line. Now this is a, a real sort of basic experiment just to see what antifreeze does. Uh, as many of you know that antifreeze has also got anti-corrosive properties and anti-foaming properties in it. So it's really important antifreeze doesn't just stop your car from freezing, it stops it from corroding inside and especially aluminium and steel or cast iron. So, and the, the results don't go off what I'm doing, like always err on the side of caution. If for example the experiment works out that 20% is adequate when it's very very cold, just err on the side of caution, put maybe 30% in. Alright, so let's get it filled with water. So there we go, all watered up. They're all approximately the same, you know, it is a bit of a mess about trying to fill, fill them up accurately, and like I say, but you can see how pale this one is compared to the 50% one. But there ain't much difference between these two, if you see what I mean, but progressively it gets a little bit darker. So really what I'm trying to say is, without a, a proper antifreeze tester, um, just going off the colour won't tell you anything at all. Right. So let me put this racking outside and let's go and have a look. Right, here we go. So we've got the bottles outside now and it's approximately on the old scoreboard there it is around about minus three, minus four. Not too bad. Nice mild day. Uh, these aren't in the sun, this is why I put them here. 
so they're not in the sun. The sun comes rises over the back over there, so uh, we won't get really any false results. And it's a little bit shaded from the snow by the overhang of the roof. So I think that's quite good. We'll uh, we'll keep our eye on that and see what happens. Could be interesting, eh? Um, <clears throat> one other thing that might be interesting is this. Come back to have a look at the radiator. And now it's broke the plastic cap off. And ice is now coming out of there. And ice is coming out of here too. But it hasn't broke the core. Well, not that we can see anything happening too much. Again, it's the same bulge here. But it was suggested that once we've got this uh, experiment finished with, then we put it out, put warm it up again, and fill it with air and <laughs> see if it leaks. Because obviously we can't see if it leaks because there's no... Uh, it's all frozen up. The water bottle here has really gone to town now. It's split the label. Uh, it's really coming on in leaps and bounds. I don't know what's happening with that. The beer can, well, well I'm not going to touch that. It's too cold. But anyway, that's the experiment. And we'll, like I say, when we get some really good cold weather, around in the minus 20s, minus 30s, that will really show up. So I hope you like this experiment. Don't worry if I don't come back to it too often. I'll only come back to it when it's uh, really cold. Alright, see you later, bye.